Ivabradine is a medication used to treat chest pain and heart failure. In this mnemonic video, we'll cover the important facts about Ivabradine, so you'll be ready come test day. We're at the beach where a bride is getting ready for her dream outdoor wedding. She is getting ivy braided into her hair to add a touch of natural beauty to her look. This ivy braiden will serve as your memory anchor to Ivabradine, since ivy braiden sounds like Ivabradine, right? Now that we're anchored to the scene, let's move on to learn more about how Ivabradine is used in the clinical setting. To keep things organized, we've clustered all these important symbols in the foreground of the scene. The mother of the bride came to bring a special perfume pump as a wedding gift for her daughter. This perfume bottle is even heart-shaped to represent the couple's love. This heart-shaped perfume pump is our symbol for the heart. After all, the heart can be thought of like a pump, since it pumps blood, right? When the mother of the bride saw the ivy, she got scared because she thought it was poison ivy. In her shock, she dropped the perfume, which fell and broke on the floor. This heart-shaped perfume pump is now broken. You could even say the pump has failed, which is why it's our symbol for heart failure. Heart failure occurs when the heart fails to pump blood as well as it should, just like this broken pump is now unable to pump perfume. Since this perfume is pretty expensive, the bride is using tape to fix the broken heart-shaped pump. The way she is fixing the broken pump can remind you that Ivabradine treats or fixes heart failure. More specifically, Ivabradine can improve symptoms and reduce the risk of hospitalization in people with heart failure. Because she was so scared, the mother of the bride developed a sudden episode of chest pain, which she's now treating by taking medications. The mom treating her chest pain can help you remember how Ivabradine can be used to treat chest pain, also known as angina. Ivabradine is not typically used as a first-line agent for treating angina. That said, it may be considered for treating patients who otherwise cannot tolerate first-line drugs, like beta blockers. Next, let's move on to learn about the mechanisms behind how Ivabradine works in the body. To keep things organized, we've clustered all these symbols towards the right-hand side of the scene. As there will be many children at the wedding, the catering team has decided to serve burgers. Currently, one of the cooks is using a chute to dispense salt for seasoning the burgers. Salt is our recurring symbol for sodium, so this salt chute is our symbol for sodium channels. However, this isn't any ordinary salt chute. To keep the kids entertained, this cook is using a funny, clown-themed salt chute. The funny salt chute should remind you of funny sodium channels, a specific type of sodium channel found in pacemaker cells of the heart. The movement of sodium through funny channels regulates electrical activity inside the pacemaker cells, which in turn controls the heart rate. These burgers are still frozen, so they can't be salted just yet. That's why this cook is using his hand to block the funny clown-themed salt chute. This symbolizes how Ivabradine blocks funny sodium channels. Since funny sodium channels regulate electrical activity in pacemaker cells, blocking these channels slows down the heart rate. This can lower the workload on the heart, which helps to treat both angina and heart failure. Next, let's see why the burgers are still frozen. You see, the cook was using the depolarized mode on the slow cookers to thaw the burgers before cooking. To show that this mode is for defrosting things, this logo shows an icy polar bear being crossed out, really depolarizing, if you catch my drift. The word depolarize should remind you of depolarization. Since the depolarized mode of this slow cooker defrosts things pretty slowly, the burgers inside are still frozen. The slow depolarized mode should help you remember slow depolarization, the process by which the electrical voltage across the cell membrane in the pacemaker cell slowly becomes less negative. Let's review this diagram of the heart with the left and right atria above and the left and right ventricles below. Electrical conduction begins in the SA node and travels through the atria to reach the AV node. The AV node then conducts these impulses down through the his Purkinje system into the ventricles below. This pattern of electrical activation allows for contractions to move from the atria to the ventricles in a normal heartbeat. Now, let's zoom into the SA node to review the action potential inside a pacemaker cell. On the Y-axis, we show the membrane voltage, while on the X-axis, we show time. 
Normally, the membrane voltage in these cells slowly climbs up to a threshold voltage, known as the action potential threshold, after which it rapidly spikes upward to activate the cell. The voltage then falls as the cell resets for another activation. As this cycle repeats, each spike corresponds to electrical activation of the SA node, which in turn causes the heart to contract in a normal heartbeat. The slow climb in voltage before the activation of each heartbeat is known as slow depolarization. And importantly, this slow depolarization is mainly powered by funny sodium channels. Let's go back to the mnemonic. Because the burgers are still frozen, the cook is increasing the time for how long the depolarization will last. Increasing the time of the slow depolarized mode represents how Ivabradine similarly prolongs slow depolarization. To illustrate this, let's bring back our diagram of the pacemaker action potential. As we covered earlier, Ivabradine works by blocking funny sodium channels, which prolongs the slow depolarization of the pacemaker cells. This makes it take longer for the cell to reach the action potential threshold to activate. As the cycle repeats, this causes a slowing of electrical activations, which slows the heart rate. While there were previously three heartbeats in this time interval, this is slowed down to two after administering Ivabradine. While waiting for the wedding festivities to begin, a little boy is playing with a 4x4 truck on some toy tracks. By the way, a 4x4 truck is our recurring symbol for the number 4. So the gradual slope of this 4x4 truck should remind you of the slope of phase 4. To help the car climb up the steep ramp, the boy is lengthening its runway by adding another track. If you look closely at the toy tracks here, you'll notice that track looks like the pacemaker action potential we just talked about. The way he's lengthening the slope for this 4x4 truck just ahead of the steeper ramp symbolizes how Ivabradine lengthens the slope of phase 4, which is part of the pacemaker action potential. Bringing back the graph we just covered, it's worth noting that each part of the action potential curve has a name. The slow climbing segment is known as phase 4, the rapid climbing segment is known as phase 0, and the fall in membrane voltage to reset the cell is known as phase 3. So when we showed earlier how Ivabradine prolongs slow depolarization, that was just another way of saying that Ivabradine lengthens phase 4. Finally, let's close out by covering some side effects that patients may experience while taking Ivabradine. To keep things organized, we've clustered all these symbols in the middle of the scene towards the back. The planner set up a lot of very bright lights to ensure pictures of the wedding ceremony will look good. The hairdresser needs a lot of light to see while they braid ivy leaves, so they pointed one of these bright lights towards the hair in the foreground. The bright lights here should remind you of the luminous phenomena that may be experienced as a side effect of taking Ivabradine. Patients may complain of increased brightness in their vision, often accompanied by seeing halos around lights. Ivabradine is thought to cause these visual changes by altering the electrical activation of cells in the retina. While this side effect is generally mild and temporary, some patients may need to visit their eye doctor to manage changes in their vision. All of these bright lights have attracted some local wildlife, and you can see a heart-shaped sea turtle has wandered its way towards the lights. Isn't it fitting that it's a heart-shaped turtle on the day of a wedding? This slow, heart-shaped turtle is our recurring symbol for bradycardia. Since bradycardia is the medical term for a slow heartbeat, similar to how this heart-shaped turtle is moving very slowly. We previously covered how Ivabradine works to slow down the heart rate, which is good for lowering the workload on the heart. However, in some cases, the drug can slow the heart rate too much to cause the side effect of bradycardia. Finally, we see a flower girl playing with a doctor playset while she waits for the wedding to begin. Since kids are always trying to show animals things, she is trying to show the sea turtle how she can inflate a blood pressure cuff. The way she's inflating the blood pressure cuff should remind you that Ivabradine may increase blood pressure, which can lead to hypertension. While this side effect is included in many resources, the clinical evidence for hypertension as a side effect is extremely weak. Just know that this is a relatively rare side effect of taking Ivabradine. All right, that's all for this mnemonic. Let's recap. Ivabradine is a medication used to treat chest pain and heart failure. It works by blocking funny sodium channels in pacemaker cells. 
This prolongs the slow depolarization of the cell, causing a lengthening of phase four of the pacemaker action potential. Side effects of ivabradine include seeing luminous phenomena and bradycardia. Hypertension may also occur as a rare side effect. And now we're actually done with ivabradine. See you next time. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.